Omni, short for One Metro New York, is the new fare payment system being implemented in the New York City Transit system. Since its pilot launch in 2019, Omni has expanded to every subway station and MTA bus in the city. However, in true MTA fashion, the rollout has faced significant delays and setbacks. As the successor to the iconic MetroCard, Omni is expected to not only match but exceed its predecessor's functionality. Despite some advancements, there are notable shortcomings and delays in fulfilling promised features. Less than half of all Omni vending machines have been installed. Department of Education students still lack a replacement for their student metro cards. And integration with the B-Line and Nice Bus systems is progressing slowly. In a bid to address these issues, the MTA is making concerted efforts to expedite the project. After discussions with Cubic, the vendor responsible for the Omni system, it was determined that the project would not be completed until 2027 and would require an additional $35 million. In response, the MTA has revised the project timeline and budget, aiming to finish sooner, under budget, and with additional features. Let's talk about them. One of the most anticipated features is Omni's integration with the railroads. Currently, Metro North and Long Island Railroad use traditional tickets. The promise of integration opened a lot of eyes. Was the MTA going to install fare gates, maybe bring the fare in line with New York City Transit within city limits? Well, now we know what this integration is. The MTA has decided to leverage the success of the Train Time app, which has a 4.9 star rating on the App Store. Instead of installing fare gates, the Train Time app will be enhanced to include OmniCard functionalities, allowing users to charge rides directly to their OmniCards. Additionally, the MTA also left open the door of possibilities regarding an integrated fare structure between New York City Transit and the railroads. Maybe in the near future, we'll be able to take the railroads for the same price as the subway within the city. This would open up a lot more trip opportunities, especially for people living in Brooklyn, who have to take the long trip through Manhattan to get to Queens. Instead, you could transfer from a subway at Atlantic Avenue or a bus at Nostrand Avenue and take the Long Island Railroad to Jamaica. If this is fully realized, we could have a pretty good regional rail system on our hands. The MTA will start Omni integration in late 2024 and continue to expand on it through 2026. The MTA plans to transition all remaining rider classes to Omni starting later this year. By next school year, DOE and CUNY students will receive Omni cards, which can be added to digital wallets like Apple or Google Wallet. Discounted cards for fare fares, reduced fares, and paratransit customers will be introduced by the end of the year, alongside support for pre-tax commuter benefits. Starting next year, Omni passes will be available to employees, and an Omni app will roll out to the public, allowing riders to check their card balance and add their card to a mobile wallet of their choice. For riders from Long Island and Westchester County, Omni integration with the Nice Bus and Beeline Bus is essential. Both networks currently rely on Metro cards. Starting later this year, legal agreements will be established and Omni implementation on these bus networks is expected to start next year. The JFK Air Train, Roosevelt Island Tram, and Hudson Rail Link have all received Omni within the past two years, so NICE and Beeline are the only two agencies left to add. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like PATH and New Jersey Transit will be joining the Omni program as both agencies are currently looking into creating their own fare card and systems. Luckily, PATH's system also supports contactless payment, similar to Omni, so you will still be able to tap your contactless device on their readers to pay your fare.
Lastly, to accommodate riders who may not be able to use their mobile device for fare payment, the MTA is continuing the installation of Omni vending machines, albeit at a reduced number. Originally planned for 1,720 units, only 993 will be installed. By the end of this year, 500 machines will be operational, with the rest deployed by August of 2025. Overall, significant progress is being made with Omni, despite the delays. Full completion is now slated for 2026, three years behind the original schedule. I'm mostly looking forward to Omni integration on the commuter railroads. If reduced fares are included in this integration, the railroads will see higher ridership, which will make even more of a case for converting our 20th century rail system into a comprehensive regional rail network, similar to those in the UK, Germany, and France. This could also prompt PATH and New Jersey Transit to adopt Omni, enhancing regional connectivity. I'm also looking forward to all-door boarding on the buses, which should be implemented shortly after Omni installation is fully complete. One major part of the Bronx bus redesign, the BX6 Select Bus to White Plains, relies on all-door boarding. Are you excited for full Omni implementation? Would you like to see more of these transit news videos? Let me know down in the comment section below and as always, consider supporting the channel by liking, subscribing, and considering becoming a channel member. Special thanks to Rich Short, Damien's Transit and Health Bar videos, and RC from the NYC for supporting me at the Train Operator tier.